many wins, many battles between India and Australia. Where do you, would you place this win? Because many are calling this the greatest win ever. And, um, and Shane Warren has, it, has called it cricket's version of Thriller in Manila. It's, uh, they're, they're not wrong. Uh, you know, when you look at the circumstances that this team came to Australia, you know, being in lockdown for four months, where a lot of people living in metros couldn't even get out of their flats, leave alone uh, having an opportunity to train. Then to go to the IPL and someone like Jaspreet Bumrah, because of uh, Mumbai winning, he's bowled 64 overs. That's it. None of the other guys have got a proper hit in the middle. Then to come here and take on Australia in their own backyard where the world knows how tough it is. And then to go through these quarantine periods, you know, have injuries, multiple injuries right through the tour. To be, uh, you know, bowled out for 36, India's lowest score. And then to come back from there and play like, you know, absolute champions is uh, unreal. I mean, the penny has still not dropped and it will take a long time to drop. But, you know, unreal. What, what I've seen, unreal, unimaginable, you know, simply superb. Especially the uh, resolve and the character the boys have shown right through. Before this me. is the toughest tour ever. We are playing it in COVID times, in quarantine times, and with the multiple injuries you said. So nothing comes close to this. This surpasses all. We were left with no choices. You know, we had uh, no one left in the squad when the final test started. You know, and we had to play the guys who were there. I mean, if you look at the bowling attack uh, that India beat Australia in Australia last time, there's not a single bowler playing in that last game. So it was important, you know, to keep the self-belief going. And I think Ajinkya did a great job by being calm, composed, you know, and taking everything in his stride. It's not easy, you know, as a captain to go out with a bowling attack that is just three test matches old. You know, it's, it's, it's no joke. But then to marshal the resources and keep everyone going, I thought was uh, an outstanding achievement. And it's the self-belief that this team has. And, you know, people think it's, it's come overnight. It doesn't come overnight. You know, it's a, it's a process that's taken five, six years. You know, these boys have been playing with each other for five, six years. You know, they've had tough tours. They've had losses. But, you know, what they've learned now is never to give up. You know, feeling defeated is one thing, but giving up is not in our vocabulary. And uh, that this team has shown more than anything else. And you must give credit. He, he may not be here. Virat, he's a back home in India, but uh, you know his character, his his personality, that stamp is there for everyone to see in this team as well. And then for Ajinkya to take over the way he did was uh, simply unreal. No, it was really tough, especially after the Adelaide Test match. But as Ravi Bai said, that uh, it was all about character for us, showing that fighting spirit on the field. We were not thinking too much about the result. We just wanted to play good cricket, and I thought great to each and every individual. Uh, not only players, but support staff as well. I mean, they did a fantastic job. Our physios have kept each and, each and every individual bit. I think they faced some tough times, but they were just smiling every time. And it was all about team effort. So, yeah, it was, I think we shown that character and I think attitude on the field that helped us a lot.